generation conjecture. So uh, I'd like to thank the organizers for, uh, for the invitation. Um, and uh, I'll recall uh, uh, first uh, the usual uh, first round of generation for the algebraic, algebraic geometric setting. Uh, so basically, if your x uh, is uh, smooth uh, projective, uh, over some field K, where this is zero, you may assume that it is uh, um, that it is complex numbers. Uh, then uh, the spectral sequence which passes from uh, HQ X coefficients in omega T. Uh, so this is E to spectral sequence. Uh, so uh, it converges to the algebraic graph homology and uh, it degenerates, uh, which means that all the differentials in the spectral sequence uh, are basically zero. And this uh, this follows from the classical Hodge theory for compact Hitler uh, varieties. And uh, uh, it was realized, uh, I think, by Maxim. Uh, that uh, uh, this statement is actually a statement about the category of Cartesian shifts uh, on X. Uh, so, uh, more precisely, uh, uh, if you have uh, uh, so if you have some uh, DG category or a DG algebra, or it doesn't matter, or you, you can uh, uh, you can take a infinity uh, as well. Uh, then you have a uh, mixed uh, mixed quotient complex. So you have quotient chains, you have quotient uh, differential, and you have cone differential. Uh, so they have opposite uh, degrees. So this is homological degree one, this is homological degree minus one. Uh, so these are. Uh, uh, Super commuting uh, differentials, and uh, you can uh, uh, you can define a negative cyclic complex, which is basically obtained by attaching a new variable u of cohomology degree two, and you take the differential, which is b small plus u. Uh, B capital and H C minus is the homology of this complex, and uh, uh, the degeneration degeneration conjecture <coughs> is a categorical context by conservation Söderman. So this will be conjecture one. Uh, uh, is that uh, yeah? Uh, now for this uh, uh, for this uh, cyclic homology, you have uh, of course the long contact sequence uh, which comes from the short exact sequence of complexes. So HC minus uh, goes to HC minus uh, by multiplication by U. Then you have the projection to quotient homology and then you have the boundary map to negative cycle. So this should be uh, N plus 2, N, N, uh, N plus 1. Uh, and uh, so it has a boundary map, and the conjecture is basically is that a if a is smooth and proper, uh, yeah, and uh, again under this assumption, producing zero, uh, then uh, basically delta equals to zero. Um, yeah, th this is equivalent to the uh, statement uh, of the. Uh, generation of the associated uh, spectral, spectral sequence, which starts from Hochschild homology, um, uh, the limit is periodic uh, cyclic homology. Uh, yeah, so the conjecture is that the boundary map is zero, and uh, uh, and uh, one can check uh, that uh, if A is, uh, the, uh, is if A is basically the uh of X, then this uh, conjecture for A is uh, equivalent to uh, the usual cost of the round generation of 
four x. Uh, okay, so this is a reminder. And and this uh, general um, conjecture by conception Sobreman. Uh, 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 it was uh, actually proved by uh, collision uh, under uh, certain assumptions on the DG algebra. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about the DG algebra, but, but uh, this is uh, more or less the same as to, to talk about uh, DG algebra. And uh, it was shown by collision uh, that uh, if uh, A is uh, gain smooth and proper, uh, but uh, concentrated in non-negative degrees, so A is sum of A n over non-negative n, uh, then uh, and so one conjecture uh, holds. Yes. And uh, he used uh, uh, the method uh, of the ring and illusi, um, a sort of uh, 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 reduction uh, to find characteristic and using uh, Cartier automorphism. Uh, so this uh, uh, linear and the C proved uh, uh, the duration by algebraic methods for uh, uh, for smooth projective varieties and Cartesian uh, 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 actually realized that uh, we can apply similar methods in the non-commutative setting. Uh, yeah, but uh, uh, for general A, actually conjecture remains open, uh, remains open uh, and still uh, uh, this uh, linear TPC method, uh, met method actually doesn't, doesn't give you an uh, understanding uh, actually by uh, uh, why it holds. And uh, excuse me, this A is the DGA in the server of quality? Yeah. Uh, this A, A yes, it, it's a DG algebra. Yes. So, what DG category you consider all DG modules over the uh, You consider perfect complexes. I mean, uh, okay. here everything is more invariant, okay. so you can pass from DG algebra to perfect complexes, or you can take uh, any single generator and take uh, DG algebra, so it's equivalent. Um, okay. Uh, so and uh, recently I uh, realized uh, that uh, uh, this uh, uh, con conjecture of uh, conception Sobermann can, can be formulated, I mean, I mean can be naturally generalized to uh, to some uh, much more general situation, namely uh, uh, the framework will be, will be the following. So if uh, let A and B be any uh, small uh, DG categories. Uh, yeah, uh, I should probably say that I fix uh, for the whole talk the assumption that characteristic in the basic field is zero. Uh, so take uh, arbitrary small DG categories. Uh, then, yeah, and uh, uh, let's take any uh, perfect model over A tensor B. And uh, you have a Chern character of M, uh, which lives uh, in whole homology of A tensor B. Uh, actually, it can be lifted to, uh, uh, well, uh, it actually arrives to negative cyclic homology, but uh, let's take the projection. So we get an element of uh, closed homology of A tensor B. And uh, this, by Kuhnert, it is the same as Hochschild homology of A, uh, tensor Hochschild homology of B. And now, uh, 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 and now uh, let's take following map. Let's take identity for Hochschild homology of A, and let's, let's take the boundary map for Hochschild homology of B. So we, we go to H H of A, tensor H C minus of B. And uh, let's uh, uh, define phi of M to be this uh, identity tensor delta 
or applied to the term character of M. And so, uh, to, to summarize, we have a map. Uh, we get a map phi, which goes actually from uh, k0 of the tether product. Uh, yeah, uh, I always, by, by k0, I mean uh, k0 of the category of perfect complexes uh, over a tensor bit. And uh, so it, 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 uh, this goes to Hochschild homology of A tensor HC minus of B. Uh, and uh, the uh, this generalized the generic conjecture is uh, that <coughs> uh, this uh, phi uh, is uh, always zero. So basically, for for any uh, pair of digit categories. And so, um, uh, so uh, let, let, let's uh, let me first explain uh, why this is a generalization. Uh, uh, so, uh, so let, let's take, uh, uh, let's consider a special case when uh, A is uh, smooth and proper. Sorry, Sasha, just to make sure I understand. The term yes. character itself lives to HT minus. Yes, yes, but A is the minus of, of the product. Okay. Yes. Uh, 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 so, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, in particular, from uh, your observation, it follows immediately uh, that. Uh, if you take uh, this term character uh, and uh, if you apply uh, co differential one component, uh, so you, you take con tensor identity plus identity tensor con, you get zero. Yeah. Okay. But uh, here uh, I, I apply the boundary only on, 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 on one side. Yes, this, this is important. Um, so let, let's take uh, A to be smooth and proper and B equal to A opposite. Uh, and uh, let's take M to be basically. Uh, uh, diagonal by one. Uh, then uh, it is uh, uh, it is well known actually that uh, the charm character of this uh, by model which lives in post homology of A actually tensor itself. Uh, it's what can be called a uh, uh, perfect uh, co pairing. So it's actually dual to the perfect perfect pairing and. Uh, uh, so basically, it means that it identifies the space with this dual, and uh, uh, from this it follows that if if, if we know that um, such vanishing holes for the bi model, then basically that equals to zero. So, yeah. So, sorry, sorry, in the case it's smooth and not proper, yes. Then uh, it's not a perfect pairing. You can still expect uh, that it's Means you can take this co pairing of that and stuff like this. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's like a half the generation for proper and for smooth, you have half of the generation. Uh, yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, yes. Uh, you, should, uh, you, can, you can think about this like, uh, yeah, like that. It's uh, not the whole genera generation, but. Uh, uh, yeah, and. Uh, uh, so, so, so this actually explains that uh, conjecture two uh, implies conjecture one, uh, and um, uh, and another thing uh, 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 which motivates actually why 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 this should be true uh, is that um, so you can prove uh, the following uh, that uh, conjecture one plus uh, uh, plus a certain statement which I, which I call uh, uh, non-commutative uh, smooth compactification. Uh, I'll explain in a minute what, what it means. That uh, they together imply uh, conjecture too. Uh, so it means that model uh, this, this statement uh, uh, conjectures uh, one and two are basically equivalent. Uh, and Uh, yeah. 
so, um, um, so uh, I'll just formulate what is this uh, smooth, uh, not commutative not smooth computation. Uh, so it's uh, another in conjectural statement. Uh, so in conjecture three. Uh, uh, is that uh, if uh, A is any homotopically fine, fine to present a DG category, or again you can think about it as a DG algebra, uh, then uh, there exists a, a smooth and proper, so saturated uh, DG category A uh, tilde uh, and uh, an object in A tilde. Well, when I say an object, uh, I mean essentially a subcategory generated by one object. It is uh, the same. Uh, the, uh, so, so that, such that A is uh, quasi equivalent to a tilde uh, quotient by E. So, uh, geometrically, this means that uh, uh, if your X is smooth but uh, not proper, uh, then by uh, Nagata and Fernaka, uh, you can embed it into x bar, which is smooth, smooth and proper, and uh, uh, then db koch of x is a quotient of db koch uh, of x bar uh, by the subcategory supported on the infinity divisor. And so this subcategory is of course generated by one object, so this is explains why uh, this uh, non commutative smooth computation holds in this case. So in the geometric case, I mean, of course, the divisor of infinity is smooth. Yes. But it has some very controlled type of singularities which we can control the Yes. Is there a non commutative version of it? Uh, no. Well, uh, actually, there's, 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 there's no proof. Uh, I mean, you mean non commutative interpretation of this? Uh, no. Yes, or mm -hmm. not class of At least I, I'm not aware of such, such notion. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, so uh, yeah, but uh, the uh, conjecture itself is uh, exactly, exactly like this. Uh, so uh, and actually, I, I, a couple of years ago, I, I, I actually I proved it for. Uh, I mean that another statement holds when uh, your x is uh, singular, but not uh, so. So when, when your x is singular, then. Uh, uh, such uh, non commutative computation is uh, constructed actually using by, uh, with the use of uh, Tiernaka theorem. Uh, so you need to resolve the singularities and uh, also apply the Kuznetsov and Lund's uh, construction of uh, categorical resolution. Yeah, but, but still, uh, in general, this is a uh, completely uh, open question. Uh, yeah, and uh, I claim that uh, actually, if you assume this, uh, then uh, my generalization of this uh, uh, Hoshi Drum generation is uh, actually equivalent to the original conjecture. Uh, and if we believe in this, then it's natural to try to, try to prove uh, this uh, uh, general statement. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, so. Um, uh, the, next, uh, uh, the next step, uh, step is um, to try to control uh, uh, the, this uh, perfect complexes uh, over the tensor product. So, how to uh, to describe to describe them uh, in some terms, um, and um, so uh, let's take uh, so our A and B. Uh, and let's take some uh, perfect bimodal. Uh, so first, uh, one can prove uh, that if M is uh, actually, a, let's say, a twisted complex, uh, this uh, actually means that uh, uh, so when you take a perfect complexes, you first uh, take twisted complexes and then take the direct sums. Uh, it's important to, uh, that, that you split, split generate everything by uh, by representable models. But let's uh, let's let, let's assume that we don't need to take either uh, uh, deposit completion uh, to get M. So 
means that it's generated by basically by taking direct sums, shifts, and cones uh, from the objects uh, of A tensor B. Then uh, one can show uh, that uh, there exists some uh, E, which is a category with exceptional collection, uh, of course, in the G category. Uh, Uh, which maps uh, to A and uh, whose opposite maps to B, uh, such that your M uh, is, uh, so this functor will be, say, F, and this will be G, such that your M is uh, the image, I mean, the extension of colors of the diagonal by model over E. Uh, this actually it means that uh, this diagonal by, by model somehow, somehow solves the universal, pro universal problem of, um, uh, of uh, describing uh, uh, all such twist complexes. Uh, it doesn't mean that uh, 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 this, this is a represent, uh, representing object of some functor, but still uh, it means that uh, uh, all, the, all kinds of twist complexes come from such, such a situation. Uh, basically, uh, direct DG quiver <coughs> describing your exceptional collection and a diagonal by model over it. Uh, uh, this is already not bad because, uh, I mean, when you try, try to uh, write a twisted complex, you need to solve more of equation equation uh, and uh, it's a dozen product, which is not so easy task. Uh, so, to describe also some solutions. But this means that uh, this, this can be somehow. Um, this can be described by, some, by something uh, understandable. And uh, the next step is to uh, take. Uh, uh, so the, the next step uh, is to take uh, all the direct sum summons of this. Uh, so if you have some m, uh, uh, so uh, the general perfect complex will be uh, the direct summon uh, of such an object. Uh, and uh, uh, so, um, uh, to go further, uh, 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 let's consider uh, the simplest example uh, when uh, your, yeah, uh, uh, so this somehow describes uh, all perfect complexes which you, which you can, but uh, uh, still uh, uh, it doesn't uh, help at the moment to uh, to solve uh, uh, the general to prove the general conjecture, and uh, uh, to go through, let's uh, uh, let's consider uh, the simplest case when your E is basically K. Which means that uh, so uh, this means that uh, uh, when your category with exceptional collection is uh, just a direct category of point. Uh, so the category of uh, direct category of vector spaces. Uh, then, uh, so uh, uh, what we are dealing with is actually with uh, two uh, DG algebras, and so this M is uh, uh, so this, uh, this is complex is basically a, a tensor B, uh, so just a free model, and uh, then we take an either bottom. Uh, in the tensor product, which, which means in the zero homology of the tensor product, uh, so E squared equals to E. And uh, you need to, uh, 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 yeah, you want to describe somehow all, all, all kinds of uh, such item portents. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, let's consider. Uh, Situation: the special case when A is compact. Uh, then, uh, yeah, just a general remark is that uh, the set of such idempotents is basically the same as Holmes uh, in, uh, in the homotopy category of DG algebras uh, from K plus K to A tensor B. And uh, let's forget if if we forget about units at uh, units. Let's, let, let, let's do this. So uh, let's take 
non union to the DGL adverse. Then it will be a that comes from K to A, to a tensor B. Uh, and uh, uh, the observation is that if A is compact, uh, then this uh, uh, you have this uh, functor of multiplication by A, tensor multiplication, which goes from the homotopy category of algebras to itself. Um, Shock to the left, yeah, to, on the on the wall there. Oh. Um, so this functor which goes uh, from uh, homotopy category of algebras to itself, uh, it's the it has a left joint. Uh, and let's know this uh, left joint by uh, L sub A. So, uh, so we get some functor from algebras to uh, themselves. And uh, just to give you an idea uh, uh, how this uh, left joint can be constructed, um, So any DG algebra can be described as a cobar construction of some uh, quantity potent DG co algebra. So for example, you can take a C to be the bar construction of B. So this is quantity potent. Uh, this is actually Kashul, basically Kashul duality uh, in this context. Um, and if your A is compact, uh, this means that. Uh, uh, you can take the minimal infinite structure on this cohomology. So let's take A prime to be the cohomology of A with its uh, uh, minimal infinite structure. And uh, then what we can take is take A prime dual tensor C. And this, this, this will give us quite important uh, infinity algebra. And then you can apply the bar construction, co bar construction uh, again. So, and, and actually, this functor, uh, which is left adjoint to multiplication by E, is basically uh, uh, basically co bar construction of this E prime dual kind of C. Uh, so, this is how left adjoint is constructed. and then you can uh, note uh, that our general conjecture is somehow functorial under A and B. And uh, uh, this uh, actually means uh, that uh, in this case uh, we can replace, um, uh, so in this case we can uh, assume that, uh, yeah, probably the right here. So uh, let's note that this is the same as whole in the category of algebras from uh, L uh, L A of K to B, and this, this means that uh, we can somehow consider the situation of the universal eigenpotent. Uh, so we can assume that uh, B equals to L A of K. Then we have this universal other potent, so uh, we have uh, actually um, uh, so we have some e depending on a in a zero of a tensor l a of k, and uh, uh, so uh, so what you get is uh, uh, actually uh, some class of this other potent, I mean of the corresponding bi model. In the whole sheet, uh, uh, whole sheet homology of A, that's our whole sheet homology of LA on K, of K. 
And uh, by your logic, actually what, what you get is the morphism of mixed complexes from a quotient complex of LA of K dual to the whole complex of A. And so this uh, already reduces the problem for this case of A component to the statement uh, about uh, essentially uh, a <coughs> single, single DG algebra, so not, not a pair of them. Um, and uh, about the map uh, between homological invariants uh, of this algebra. Uh, 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 and the, the, the next observation is that uh, this uh, mixed complex actually, uh, so it can be defined uh, just uh, this uh, mixed complex uh, after dualizing. It makes sense for any uh, DG algebra A. And uh, uh, this is uh, this is constructed. Uh, I mean, th this this uh, general uh, new invariant uh, of any uh, DG algebra uh, is defined uh, basically as follows. Uh, so let, let's let's take the more Grafman DG algebra, uh, which is uh, the following: is basically uh, polynomial polynomials in one variable of degree uh, one. Uh, uh, I, I'm taking polynomials without constant term. So degree of t equals to 1. Um, and, uh, uh, and it is uh, the differential is defined by requiring that d d dt equals minus t squared, which actually means that t is more of a written solution. Uh, and such, such the algebra is not very interesting by itself. Uh, Basically, because it's a cyclic, so you can easily check that its cohomology equals to zero. But we are interested in it as a pretty important uh, DG algebra. So you have a uh, filtration on it. So F0, 1, so on. So Fi uh, is basically uh, t to the power i uh, times t of t. Uh, so you have filtration by the powers of t. Uh, and uh, obviously, uh, uh, it is the inverse limit uh, of the quotients by the by the i. Uh, well, uh, yeah, because t of degree one. Uh, I mean, polynomials are basically the same as power series, so we can write as well like this. And uh, 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 yeah, and uh, then uh, what we can do is uh, take our DG algebra and. Uh, multiply it uh, in the computed sense by MC, uh, which means that we take the inverse limit of uh, uh, of the quotients of A tensor MC by uh, A tensor FI. Uh, so we take uh, this computed tensor product, we get topological uh, the uh, uh, algebra, and uh, then we can take its quotient complex, but also the completed one. Uh, so we take uh, the usual complex quotient complex, uh, which is uh, uh, um, which is obtained using taking these uh, tensor powers, uh, and we basically complete uh, all the tensor powers. So we will get a completed quotient complex of a tensor and C. Uh, so, and yeah, one can easily check that uh, this is uh, this is a mixed complex which is invariant uh, under quasi zone physics. <coughs> uh, yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, and, uh, uh, after we define such an invariant, uh, we can realize uh, that uh, we, uh, it comes with a natural map to the uh, usual quotient complex. Uh, so, 
we have a map of mixed complexes. Of this complete disposal complex of A tensor Mauro Cartan. So it maps to C of phase. Uh, and uh, uh, somehow one of the ways to define it, uh, define it is, to, uh, is the following. So uh, this goes to, uh, uh, so we can go to a uh, complete disposal complex of, uh, so just basically attach a unit to A. I recall that we are working with non-unit algebras. And tensor it with uh, Mauro Cartan also with a unit attached. And this uh, uh, this basically goes to uh, by to the product of uh, to the product of complex of A tensor complete complex of this M C plus uh, and uh, this is basically uh, so this uh, complete complex of M C plus uh, is basically quite as often to K plus K. And then you project to one of the corpus of key. <coughs> uh, uh, so this is, uh, once again, it's an uh, invariant of A and the quasi isomorphism, it, it, and it maps to the usual cost complex. And uh, now, uh, the, the general, uh, our, our conjecture in this case reduces to the following statement uh, about uh, uh, this uh, new invariant. Uh, and, uh, and this is actually a theorem uh, that uh, uh, if you take, uh, so you can take, if you, uh, once you have a mixed complex, you have a cyclic homology. So we take not, not, not negative cyclic, but cyclic, basically cyclic uh, homology of A tensor, uh, uh, tensor MC. So it goes by the boundary map, uh, again, I'll denote it by delta. So uh, to just the complete exposure homology of A tensor MC. And it goes uh, by this uh, map to the homology of A. Uh, so uh, we get uh, such a composition, uh, uh, maybe it's noted by phi prime. And uh, then first, statement is actually phi prime equals to zero, which uh, shows uh, the general conjecture in this case. And second uh, proof, uh, second, second statement, which, which is even maybe more, more surprising, and is that uh, this uh, vanishing, uh, uh, I mean, you can, you can show that it uh, doesn't have, uh, there doesn't exist uh, an explicit proof. Uh, yeah, probably I will explain what it means. That's an amazing state. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was really surprised that uh, in such a case you already um, uh, get something uh, highly, highly non trivial. Uh, uh, so, once again, uh, uh, you can prove the general conjecture in this case, and uh, you can also prove that. Uh, uh, you cannot do it explicitly. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, the case that I recall that uh, uh, I recall that I had uh, an except, uh, a category of, uh, of uh, exceptional with exceptional collection, and uh, uh, here I assumed that my exceptional collection is basically uh, just K, so just one object, one exceptional object. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, probably first, uh, uh, yeah, first I probably, uh, 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 probably I should explain uh, what, what does it mean that it doesn't have an explicit proof. Um, uh, um, so this means uh, the following. So first, uh, uh, informally speaking, uh, how do you construct uh, uh, such, such kinds of uh, uh, invariants? So you basically take uh, the tensor powers of A, uh, and 
so that, that you take the direct sum of, of, such, of such powers, uh, and, uh, and you construct the differentials uh, uh, by, by uh, using the operations in your uh, DG algebra or infinity algebra. In this case, uh, it actually doesn't matter. Um, so uh, you, you, do, you, you take, uh, 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 for example, maps like this from a tensor n plus 1 to a tensor n uh, by uh, uh, multiplying uh, uh, subsequent terms of this tensor product. So uh, using basically operations in a. And uh, uh, if you're trying to uh, describe all such kinds of invariants, you write uh, into uh, con uh, cyclic category. Uh, so you have lambda and uh, yeah, and since we're, we are talking about uh, non-unital uh, algebras, let, let's take somehow semi-cyclic, which um, basically means that uh, we take on the surjections. Um, so you take uh, the semi-cyclic category, and uh, uh, you have a, a mod model of this category, which is obtained from A. So you take uh, actually uh, uh, all the tensor powers and the morphisms in the semi-cyclic category, uh, give you uh, uh, morphisms between tensor powers. Uh, so this is an object of, uh, uh, yeah, let's predict the linearization of this uh, semi-cyclic category. Um, so it's a left model over it. Yeah, and uh, so how do you, do you define, for example, uh, cyclic homology uh, of A? So you basically take uh, this, uh, this model of a semi-cyclic category and uh, multiply it over this category uh, uh, by the constant model k, which is uh, which has one-dimensional value at each object of the semi-cyclic category. And, uh, and, and, and in similar terms, you uh, you define Hochschild uh, homology. Actually, Hochschild homology is uh, actually obtained from the certain x2 from this k to itself. Uh, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, all kinds of invariants uh, uh, which come used uh, with uh, filter of polymers uh, are defined uh, in such a way that you basically uh, multiply them, uh, multiply uh, this uh, object by uh, some right model. Uh, and uh, this uh, invariant which I uh, introduced, it is somehow um, a bit different kind of invariant. So if you have uh, some other uh, some other left model uh, then uh, you can uh, take an invariant which will be our home uh, or this linearization uh, from n to u a tensor and it's a different uh, it's actually a different class uh, of invariants uh, so they look very similar uh, every time uh, the resulting invariant is uh, is done uh, from from uh, from the tensor powers, but I mean this this commute uh, with filter collimates and this uh, actually do not compute commute, but still uh, that's typed in this terms. And uh, uh, let me speak very uh, I mean without going into uh, into details. Uh, so. Uh, if you have, um, if you have uh, uh, <coughs> two invariants of such a kind, uh, so if you have, uh, uh, so let's fix some notation. If you have some uh, n, which is a left model, uh, and if you have some, uh, let it be n l and n right will be a right model. Uh, yeah, then uh, let's take uh, one, uh, one invariant uh, which is uh, of A, which will be our home from this uh, N L to this uh, semi-cyclic object. And another invariant which will be, which is obtained uh, by so it will be G and right, which is obtained by taking 
there's a product. Um, there's a product which with n right. Uh, then, basically, by, by uh, your nether, um, uh, what kinds of uh, uh, natural motions you have from uh, F to G? Uh, uh, well, basically, you have uh, 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 so all, all of them come. So uh, uh, let's write uh, so home from uh, this uh, from the first invariant to the second invariant are described by the zero homology of the tensor product of n left and n right. <coughs> and yeah, probably it's better to write right and left. Uh, and so what I mean uh, uh, by explicit proof, so suppose that you want to prove a vanishing uh, of uh, such uh, amorphism. Uh, so a vanishing on, on the homology. Uh, then the explicit proof would, would be that you basically prove that this element of H0 of such a product, uh, uh, so th that this element is zero. Uh, this uh, actually is equivalent to uh, the statement that uh, you can construct uh, a contracting homotopy uh, for such amorphism. Uh, so uh, this exactly means that uh, this element of the derived uh, tensor product uh, vanishes. And uh, what I mean? by saying that uh, this vanishing doesn't have an explicit proof is that, uh, uh, is that in our situation you can describe uh, everything in similar terms but uh, your uh, element uh, of the homology uh, of the such tensor product will, will not vanish so that's what I mean that if you think if you are thinking in such universal terms um, then uh, uh, your element will not vanish uh, but uh, so now, now the question is uh, how can you possibly prove uh, such a statement if you uh, cannot theoretically prove them by explicit formula? And uh, here, uh, uh, at least in this case where this can be done, uh, uh, it, it can be reduced to a certain uh, formality uh, statement. Um, so, Some very special situation uh, in which, uh, from which uh, the, the idea uh, will be, uh, I hope, uh, quite clear. Uh, so suppose that uh, we are, we are uh, talking basically about associative algebras. So A and B are associative algebras. And, with, uh, and uh, suppose that we're taking some, uh, some so a zero of A tensor B is basically A tensor B. And uh, suppose that it is an idempotent. So we have this uh, Chern character which lives uh, in HH0 of A tensor HH0 of B. Uh, yeah, and, yeah, and uh, as it was managed, uh, it, it, it was mentioned uh, by Mohammed, uh, it actually comes from an element of the negative cyclic uh, homology, which means that uh, after we will take uh, from differential for the standard product, we will get zero. But uh, where does this con differential arrive? It arrives to HH1 of 8 and of HH0 of B uh, plus HH0 of A as are HH1 of B. Yeah, now and uh, the first approximation of what, we, uh, what our conjecture states is that uh, this uh, component here uh, will be zero. But actually what we already know is that the sum of these guys is zero, but they live in different uh, vector subspaces. 
So in this case, uh, 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 yeah, this already is a case where you cannot uh, prove by explicit formula that uh, this guy uh, vanishes, but uh, uh, you know that uh, something which vanishes uh, it has two components in non-intersecting non subspaces, which means that of course both uh, components uh, are zero. And it turns out that such argument uh, can be generalized uh, <coughs> uh, uh, to such vanishing for any uh, DG algebra. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah, and um, uh, more precisely, uh, uh, I'd like to tell, tell which formality I mean, which formality help, helps, me, helps me here. And uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is actually the following. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so, how much time do I have? Uh, Seven minutes. Ah, that, that's perfect. Um, okay, so uh, uh, yeah, uh, let's uh, 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 let's remember that we're dealing with uh, uh, other buttons, uh, and uh, uh, so as I said, uh, describing other buttons somewhere. So say if you want to describe uh, e in some a zero of d such that square equals e. Uh, as I said, it is, it is the same as from in the format of a category of algebras uh, from k to d. Yeah, here I I'm taking non-unit algebra, so k is a non-trivial object, it's not an initial object. And uh, if, you, um, uh, if you are trying to write what it, what it means, is that it means that you take uh, d, p in d0 such that it is closed and D square minus p is d of something. But then, then you have uh, this commutator of p and this uh, homotopy, and uh, this is all also a differential of something, and so on. So it basically means that you take a prefabric replacement of this k and uh, take a map into d, or in other words, it means that you are basically taking the infinity morphism from k to d. Uh, yeah, but uh, what you want to do naturally is uh, basically. If you want to define, and I, at the bottom, you don't want to write all, all these kinds of protected homologies. Actually, it suffices to take this. If you if you have uh, some cycle which is uh, so some uh, clo closed uh, element of d zero such that the square minus p is differential of something, then of course you get an either bottom. And uh, what it means is actually the following: uh, that uh, uh, you can take this. Uh, Let's, okay, let's, let it be denoted by B. Uh, basically, it's a free algebra generated by this P and H uh, of degree 0 and minus 1, such that D A, DP is 0 and DH is P squared minus P. Then, uh, what you have is a retraction. It's a homotopy category, so K is a retract of B. That, that, that's uh, what, what, what you have. Um, but uh, uh, now, uh, some surprising. Uh, uh, observation comes uh, into, into play. Uh, uh, so this B has actually a quite a conceptual uh, description. Let, let, uh, namely, let's consider what is called uh, basically magmatic uh, DG algebra. <coughs> it's basically uh, a complex. Uh, so it's basically a complex uh, of vector spaces. Uh, and a uh, single operation, single bi binary operation of degree zero, and everything which you you you, you require only that uh, this is uh, it's a spice Leibniz rule, so it is a morphism of complexes, but you don't require any kind of associativity. So so this is what Bourbaki called uh, magma uh, when you have a set with one binary operation. And here we have G magmas and. Uh, uh, you, you, you have uh, uh, and you have uh, uh, basically restriction functor from uh, from associative algebra to magmas. Basically, you're forgetting uh, that your operation is associative, and you have a left joint. Uh, so this will be 
say, induction uh, and this reception. And, uh, uh, and uh, you can notice this, this, this B is actually induction of K. This is uh, an easy computation. And uh, then uh, you can actually realize that uh, this statement for any DG algebra actually reduces to a certain statement uh, uh, to, to a certain statement for magmas, for magmatic uh, algebras. And uh, then uh, the, key, uh, the key point here is that uh, every uh, DG uh, magma is uh, formal. Uh, this is a very easy exercise. And this cannot be seen with uh, algebra solver operators. Uh, so uh, to, to realize that uh, uh, every DG magma is uh, formal, and this is somehow um, this observation uh, actually allows you uh, to prove uh, the statement. Uh, I think I will not go into details, but the idea is roughly what uh, I, I explained for uh, associated subspaces. You arrived, arrived into two, two non-intersecting subspaces, and you know that the sum is zero, which means that both components are zero. So it's, it's uh, very similar. Um, uh, yeah, so it turns out that uh, here, something like non-associative non geometry, actually, <laughs> um, uh, allows you to prove uh, the degeneration. And, uh, uh, yeah, but, but this is uh, only the special case when uh, your exceptional collection uh, consists of one object. And uh, in general, uh, what, uh, what you get is... Uh, uh, so the general case uh, is, uh, suppose, a relative, uh, relative situation. So if your E is, uh, let's say, directed DG quiver, uh, I mean the past algebra, <coughs> then uh, you, you, you need, uh, what you need to consider is actually A, with, uh, which is a bimodal over E. And uh, again, you have a binary operation, but uh, uh, it looks like you take A tensor e over, uh, A over E, and you go to A in the category of bimodals. Of course, everything is considered up to quite the assumption. And here, of course, it should be derived um, products. Uh, yeah, and in this case, uh, I mean, uh, where the single invariant uh, is defined, but you need to take somehow e linear uh, version cyclic homology when you take the cyclic tensor product over, over e. And uh, you get a similar uh, statement, but uh, at the moment, it's not a theorem, but a conjecture, and uh, at least you cannot uh, you cannot directly generalize this method because uh, I, I, I mean you don't you don't have far, such formality uh, in this uh, general situation. Uh, so something uh, some I think quite deep knowledge is uh, required uh, uh, to prove this in, in such uh, in, in this generality. But this already will give you. Uh, uh, degeneration statements uh, in this uh, complete general situation. Um, okay, I think I'll uh, 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 Thank you. Any questions? <coughs> ah, yeah, it's the same. It's the same. It's the same. But uh, I mean, the situation when you have uh, two, two vertices. And some number of errors. This is already not trivial. And possibly, if you understand this case, this will give you the general. But possibly, I mean, the difficulty, I mean, the complexity, some complexity of this case is essentially the same as complexity of this. So, like generalized Kronecker situation is what we need to do. Other questions? Let's thank Sasha again. Nice <laughs> 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 <laughs>